and this is my current workspace slash desk setup where I spend a good amount of time on a daily basis. And since I do sit or stand in this spot a lot, I wanted to make sure that I have everything I need within arm's reach. So today, I'll show you some of the essential desk accessories that I use. We'll skip the usual stuff like monitors, keyboard, and mouse, since most workspaces already have that. The stuff that I'll show you are the tiny accessories or additions that makes working on our space enjoyable and helps us be more productive. So if you're looking for some ideas on how you can be a bit more productive while working, this video is for you. Let's start with a desk shelf. I currently have the Grove made desk shelf in a matte black finish, and desk shelves or monitor risers are mainly used to elevate your monitors to a good height. But since I have a monitors mounted on a monitor arm, the desk shelf just acts as the name it is, as a shelf. What I love about this new version of Grove Maze's desk shelf is the integrated shelf that runs along the entire length of it. The older version only had a small portion covered. With this, I can just place my MacBook on it, which keeps everything tidy. Speaking of tidy, using a desk shelf also helps hiding some unwanted cables, making your desk look nice and neat. And of course, you cannot have the desk shelf without the matching tray. It literally complements the shelf and can hold most of my essentials like pens, SSDs, a notepad, and just other random items that I might need in a pinch. The entire base is covered in cork to protect your desk from any unwanted scratches. On the desk shelf, I have this to-do list thingy. This is the analog from Ogmonk. The concept behind this is very simple. You have this nice walnut base that holds up your cards upright so you can see what task you have to do. Once you have that certain task done, you can just mark it up and then put the used card at the bottom and put up the new one. That simple. And it works. It usually holds a task that I need to complete, be it for a certain deadline or for the day. If you check their website, they kind of show you the right way of using the different cards like the today card, next card, and someday card. You don't really have to do it that way. Like in my case, I usually just grab the today card since it is the one on top and just go on with it. The walnut base would definitely look good aesthetically on any setup. Right next to it is the wireless controller for my BenQ Halo light bar. This light helps a lot, especially when working late at night. It lights up the space nicely and doesn't show any glare on the monitor. It also comes with a backlight to light the back of your monitor that creates a nice depth and ambience while you're working. It easily clamps at the top and just plug it via USB and you're all set. You can then make all your changes using the wireless controller, which gives you that nice orange lighting whenever you hover your hand on top of it. Up next is the Anchor 577 dock. This thing pretty much powers almost the entire setup. What I love about this is the number of ports that you get. Right in front, you have an SD card slot, micro SD card slot, headphone jack, USB-A port, and two USB-C ports. At the back, I currently have one monitor connected via Thunderbolt 3, another monitor via HDMI, my speakers via USB, and my MacBook Pro via Thunderbolt 3. The dedicated power switch is really nice as I can just turn off or on the entire desk with one button. At the same time, having my Mac connected with just a single cable makes it easier for me to grab it and go anytime I need to, and having the Mac connected means the dock is charging it the entire time. One downside to this dock is that it becomes really hot when using it. Just a heads up for anyone looking to get this. Now all that should have a charger for our phones. For charging my phone and Apple Watch, I've been using Nomad's Base One Max maybe for almost a year, if not a year now. It has built-in MagSafe and Apple Watch charger, so you don't have to connect your old cables. I can easily fast charge my phone, and the solid metal and glass design adds a nice weight to it, which helps it stay in place anytime I need to take my phone out. On the opposite side of the shelf is this tiny 120 watt charger from Aohi. This is just a recent addition, and it comes very handy most of the time. It comes with two USB-C and two USB ports, so you're pretty much covered. The size alone made me keep it on my desk. You don't see something this small deliver this kind of power all the time. I use this mostly for charging my camera batteries or my iPad. You can also use all those ports at the same time if you need to. I feel like having a dedicated charger like this on any desk is a must. And speaking of iPad, the next accessory is this beautiful iPad stand from Banks. This is the Infinity Pro Magnetic iPad Stand. It holds your iPad using this huge and very strong magnet. It comes in this very premium aluminum finish, so you know you got something good. 
you can easily switch from portrait to landscape orientation depending on what you need. The bass can rotate full 360 degrees too. Just listen to that sound it makes. Another great feature is that you can fold and adjust the arm to find the perfect angle. You can even bring it all the way down if you want to start drawing or writing on your iPad. And if you want to bring it on the go, it folds down real nice making it very portable. I can confidently say that this might be the best iPad stand that I've ever used. No wireless charging gimmicks, it just excels at what it does, being a stand. One thing to keep in mind is that it won't work if you have your iPad on a case, which means if you're someone like me that loves having that iPad on a case, you have to put it back on every time you take it off the stand. Banks offer different stands for different tablets, but it pretty much works the same way, so better check them out and get one for your tablet. And I know I mentioned at the start that we won't be talking about the peripherals, but this peripheral companion is something that I think most people should have. This is the Carpio Wrist Rest from Delta Hub. I think I've been using this for 3 years now and I can't imagine myself using a mouse without this. It has been a part of my mouse now if you can say that. It glides nicely every time I move it and my hand sits just right to take out any awkward pressure on my wrist. If you just start using this, it may feel weird at first, but once you get used to it, there's no going back. For people that do crazy hours on their desk, save your wrist and invest in this. Your future self will thank you. You're welcome. Now all of these accessories that I mentioned sits on top of this Grove Made desk mat. This one is a matte black finish to match the desk shelf. I've been fortunate to have a good selection of desk mats at my disposal, so I can just switch up depending on what I feel like. But one thing that is constant is I need to be using some sort of desk mat every single time. Desk mats are nice since it doesn't only protect your desk and your devices, it also creates that separation from your desk, giving it a nice contrast. I do bring my camera and other stuff on my desk a lot, and having this huge desk mat guarantees that my desk will be protected from any scratches, my devices too. This Grove made one might be on the pricier side of the spectrum, but you certainly get what you pay for. There's a bunch of desk mats that you can choose from, and they all come in different price and sizes, so don't hold back and go get yourself one. That pretty much sums it up for my desk essentials. I know this changes a lot, so I'll be happy to hear from you if you have any suggestion or something that you always need to have on your desk. I hope you enjoyed this video and found something that you can use on your own setup. As always, if you got any questions, head straight to the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll also have everything linked down if you want to check any of these accessories. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.